Good morning, my dear Mystic Tribe. This is Mystic Jen, and this is going to be your daily reading for April 25th, 2021. This will be a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. And yes, this will be a regular reading as far as being for the collective, all signs. Okay, um, I'm deviating a little bit from my breaking it down sign by sign this morning because I slept in, number one. Number two, um, my prescription pain pills are done, ran out, can't get any more because it was a uh, narcotic, as a very mild narcotic, but government is cracking down on narcotics, period. Doesn't matter how mild or strong they are, I can't get any more, so I'm back to Advil and Tylenol, and having a few, little bit of issues this morning until I adjust Okay, I do have a torn rotator cuff, and it's going to be like not until mid or the end of June before I can actually have the surgery done for repairs, so I just got a grit and bear for the next couple months. Yeah, that sucks, but anyhow, we're going to... Um, so I'm just going to go we're gonna go ahead and dig in. If you like a private reading with me, do see the description box below. I am still doing private readings. I'm just cutting down on how many I am doing. So there's limited time slots. So if you want to get in, make sure you um, go to my website or email me uh, to schedule your appointment and arrange um, arrange it all. Uh, you can also follow me on social media. All my links are there as well. So, let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for us today. For, t for tomorrow, of course. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Messages and Guidance, please. What messages do you have for my Mystic Tribe on for April 20? 5th, 2021. What are the blessed messages? What do we need to hear for general love life, career, finance, whatever it is that we need to hear, please? Okay, we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ace of Cups, I'm liking this so far. Wonderful energy. Somebody's in the... Um, ooh, Nine of Swords. Okay. What I'm feeling right from this is that there is somebody... We have someone here who is wanting to give their cup to somebody. And I hear someone else, the other person, saying, But I am damaged. Somebody is saying, I am damaged goods. And I, I'm getting this sense of, I don't know if I deserve this. I'm damaged goods. I don't. I want your cup, but I don't know if I can take it. And the king of cups is being very patient, very nurturing. He is being very, I feel he is being very compassionate and trying to be kind and gentle. But I do feel we do have somebody here that wants to give their cup to somebody who is kind of who needs to get out of their head. Okay, um, somebody's caught up in their head and saying, "Wait a second, you know I've been burned. I'm damaged. I don't know if I want to take this chance." Seven of Wands. So they may be choosing to block this king out. Now it could be male or female. Gender doesn't matter. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. And we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So somebody here is very much caught in their head. They're having a lot of self-doubt. They're having thoughts of, do I deserve this? I don't know that I do. Somebody, meanwhile, we have the King over there who is trying to hang in there, be very strong. And be very patient. I feel as though that this person here, whoever is the damaged goods, is like really 
putting up some resistance. So who are you? Are you the one trying to give your cup to somebody who, is, who feels that they are damaged and they're resisting? Or are you the one that's resisting? You know your story. Um, and this feels like somebody is definitely almost like blocking this King of Cups. Blocking love. Because they are trying to put on a strong front. Because they are seeing everybody of the opposite sex as evil. That's what I'm getting here. But there's this lot of self-doubt. This lot of self-negative talk here. Somebody had themselves caught up and tied up in a negative relationship in the past. And they are letting it affect their relationships of the future. If this is not love and romance... We have somebody maybe trying to offer some kind of healing. Maybe a counselor. Somebody may be in the, needing that willpower and that strength to drop their defenses. To recognize that they have some unhealthy behavior, unhealthy thought patterns. And maybe needing to seek out some professional help. Um, that's another scenario. Uh, we also have somebody who may be the King of Cups, who may love their job, but is maybe worried about their job. So they might be standing up and fighting for that against somebody else that might be trying to undermine them or trying to um, might be telling lies in the workplace on them. Which is causing a lot of anxiety. A lot of friction in the workplace. But you know your scenario. Under the deck, we do have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is an even give and take. This, but, and, this is, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody who feels that they... Maybe this person feels like they have nothing to give. At this point. They're, they're doing fine on their own. They feel they're doing fine on their own. They're very independent. Maybe they don't want to. They're afraid of giving up their independence. This The devil card could also be a fear. A fear of love. A fear of giving up independence. So they're putting on this very strong hold. This very strong front here. Okay. And having their doubts about being able to give to a connection. Even though we have another nine. 999, nine, nine, completion, accomplishments. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. And what I'm picking up is that the damaged goods, the person that's been damaged is somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody is in love. But the, that person is putting up a very mighty strong resistance here. This King of Cups is offering an even give and take and putting in a lot of work. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not sure which which person you are. You have to decide which role you play in this. But this King of Cups is putting in the work. Trying to shower somebody with love and healing. And really wanting to give to this connection. And they are offering, you see the basket there? I get this image of them carrying this basket full of this person's wishes and dreams and hopes in offering them to you or to them, whoever, whatever role you play. Okay, let's see what else Spirit wants to add to this. I feel like it's going to take a lot of willpower and strength and courage to overcome these fears.
Dear Spirit, what additional messages and guidance do you want to add to this reading, please? Move. Somebody, there is definitely some kind of movement, some kind of change. This King of Cups is acting, okay? And I feel like looking for growth and stability. Definitely on the move to make changes. Control. This is the strength card. This is, have somebody is needs to have the strength and the willpower to see the situation, to see the love before their eyes. Somebody needs to have the strength to move forward even though they feel they've gone through some challenging times. So I feel like that this is about moving forward, having the strength and willpower, self-control, self-discipline to move forward past the challenging challenges, okay? And see what else? And have that trust and that faith, the take, taking that leap of faith. The King of Cups is asking their love interest to take that leap of faith and make the decision, okay? And I feel like the King of Cups has multiple options, has several options, but he has his eyes set on you or on if you are not the King of Cups, if you're the one that's been damaged, this King of Cups has his eyes set on you, okay? You're in his dreams, you're in his hopes, okay? And he's asking, he, he wants to choose you and he's asking you to choose him. <coughs> and Six of Wands is success and recognition. <coughs> and I feel like this is about, he recognizes that you've been trouble, you've been through some hard times. He recognizes that you have been damaged, but he wants to offer you hopes, wishes, and dreams in the basket. Okay? And it's up to you to believe and trust and move forward. And, the, and I feel as though this is a very successful connection. Somebody is definitely in love. We have multiple sevens. Sevens is the, a divine number, which is telling me that you guys are being drawn together by the universe. He is willing to take that risk and take that chance on you. And he's asking you to take a chance on him. Wow. Let's get one more message from the goddesses. The goddesses, what messages would you like to bring forth to the collective, please? Healing. The goddess of healing. She is saying it's time to heal from the past so that you can move forward and find true love. And she is here to assist you on your healing journey. Healing from the inside and the out. So this is a beautiful reading for us today. Whoever this was meant for. So please do make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love you all and I'll see you in the next reading. Blessed be.